Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Cyanogen Mod 13, which is based on Android 6.0 Marshmallow, onto your Samsung Galaxy Tab 4 10.1. So, um, this model what I've got is the T5 30 model. Um, this will also work with the. Hold on. Okay, so this will also work with the T530, the T531, and also the T535. So, um, I'm going to show you how you can install it real quick. So, the first thing you will need to do on your tablet, you will need to root your tablet. So, um, I'm going to show you how to root it, and then how to install TWRP Recovery, and then how to install... Cyanogen Mod 13, which is based on Android 6.0. Um, I'm just going to say that make sure you back up all your important files because this is going to wipe your tablet absolutely clean. So make sure if you've got any pictures, videos, whatever um, is important to you, make sure you back it up onto your PC or a thumb drive um, before you do this because, like I said, it's going to wipe your tablet clean. So um, first is first. You'll need to go over to this website here. I'll leave a link to the website in the description down below. And you're just going to download, you're going to go to step tool and you're going to download and extract the root files. So when you download, and, when you download that file, this is what you're going to get. This is it. So just right click on your desktop and make a new folder and drag and drop the file what you just downloaded the root files into the new folder and you can rename it um, tab for root files And then just go ahead and open up the folder and then right click on here and select extract here. To extract it you will need an extracting program like WinRAR or um, ZZip or whatever. So if you don't have WinRAR I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. Okay, next thing you need to do is just open up this folder here. And then open up Odin. And then hit yes. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the root file. So this is what we're going to look for when using Odin. Okay, the next thing you need to do is turn off your tablet. So we're just going to turn it off. So hold down the power button and power off. Okay, so once it's powered off, you're going to press the volume up button. So you're going to press the volume up button along with the home button and the power button all at once. Okay, so it okay, so it didn't work that time. So you're gonna press the volume down button, along with the power button and the home button. So this is the home button, the volume down, and also the power. So you're gonna press all three at once. Okay, 
okay it still didn't work we're gonna try it one more time okay so once again we're gonna press volume down the home button and the power button and hopefully we should go into download mode okay it's still not going into download mode it can be a bit tricky to do it might take several attempts okay so power off so home button volume down and power right got it see like I says it does take several attempts but just keep trying you will get it okay next thing you need to do is hold on Just press the volume up button now to continue. And now connect your tablet to USB. Just going to do that real quick. Now go back to your desktop and open Odin. And where it says ID come here, make sure it's blue. If it's not blue, you'll need to download the Samsung drivers. I'll leave a link to um the Samsung keys. Samsung keys will provide the drivers. So um just go ahead and download Samsung Keys, install Keys, then reconnect your tablet to Samsung Keys and it will install the drivers. And then once the drivers are installed, you can go ahead and um, reconnect to Odin and then it should then turn blue, like mine. Okay, so make sure this box here is ticked auto reboot and F reset time. And then just go ahead and hit PDA. Okay, so now we're going to look for the folder where we extracted the root files. And don't forget we renamed it to tab for root files. And I stored it on the desktop, so just go ahead and open up the folder. And just go ahead and hit the CF auto root file. Now just go ahead and hit start. And it should then begin to root your tablet. The whole process only takes a few seconds and then your tablet should reboot. Still keep it connected because it's got other things to do. As you can see here. Okay, so now we're just going to have a look and see um, if we've got the super user application on there. And there it is, super su. 
so that means the tablet is now rooted so you can disconnect your tablet from the USB cable and you can close down Odin you can go ahead and close Odin down okay <clears throat> the next thing you'll need to do is you'll need to download TWRP Slim Zero this is the Google Apps and also CM13 this is Android 6.0 so you'll need to download these three files um, to download them just go to the link in the description I'll leave it down below and it'll take you here to the XDA developer site and this is where you download the ROM hold on just scroll down and you can download TWRP from here just click on that link there and then the link below it this is where you hold on yeah this is where you download the ROM and this link here is to download the G apps the Google applications so <clears throat> click on here for TWRP click on here for the ROM and click on here for Google apps so I've already downloaded them and I've saved them to my desktop these are the three files the TWRP like I says the G apps which is the Google apps and Android 6.0 CyanogenMod Mod 13 <clears throat> so once you've downloaded them and saved them to your desktop just reconnect your, your USB cable to the tablet And drag and drop those three files onto your SD card or your internal memory on your tablet so drag that onto there Okay, so as you can see, all three files are on there. The Google Apps, the TWRP, and the ROM. So we can go ahead and just shut that down. Just gonna turn screen rotation off just to make it a bit easier for me. Alright, um next thing you need to do just head on over to the Play Store and type in recovery. Tools. and this is it here okay you need to sign in to your google account hold on i'm just going to sign into my google okay back again i just signed into my google account so <coughs> just go ahead and install the russia root the russia flash tool Then open up the application and select grant, grant it super user request. Go ahead and hit I know the risk. And now select recovery from storage. 
and go ahead and hit TWRP. This is the recovery what we downloaded from XDA and what we transferred over to the SD card to the storage. So um, just go ahead and select it, hit yes. And it should then say partition flash reboot into recovery now. Go ahead and hit yes. And now we should boot into TWRP recovery mode. So here it is. Okay, so now just go ahead and hit swipe across to allow modifications. Now go ahead and hit wipe, swipe across to do factory reset. Now select back and hit the back key. Now go ahead and hit install. Okay, now go ahead and select CM13. And swipe across to confirm flash. Okay, so it should then say script succeeded and done. So now we're just gonna go ahead and hit the back key. And now we're gonna select Slim Zero Apps, which is the Google Apps. And once again, just swipe to confirm flash. And just wait for it to say installation complete and done and then you can just go ahead and reboot system now Okay, so the first boot does take a while, so you just got to be patient. Go make yourself a cup of tea.
<clears throat> okay, so Android is starting. So it's going to optimize 92 applications. And then we should go through the whole setup process. Okay, so it's finished optimizing the applications. <coughs> okay, so let's just go through the setup here real quick. Okay, just connect to Wi-Fi real quick. Okay, just connected to Wi-Fi there. Okay, so we've finished setting it up. Let's just go into the settings here. Android 6.0. So yeah people that's just my quick tutorial showing you how to install Android 6.0 Marshmallow um, onto your Samsung Galaxy Tab 4 10.1. As you can see it was a simple process, it only took about 23 minutes to do from beginning to end. Um, the hardest bit was putting the tablet into download mode for some reason, it took me 3 attempts to do it but I did it in the end. Um, but anyway that was the hardest bit. Um, the rest of it was easy. So yeah, this was just my quick tutorial guide showing you how to install it. Um, feel free to follow it. 
install the ROM. Um, if you like it, you can keep it. Um, I'm sure it's going to continue to get updates and stuff to make it better. Um, and yeah. Oh yeah, another thing is, if you don't like the ROM and you want to put your tablet back to how it was, <coughs> back to its um, stock firmware, I'll leave a link to my tutorial in the description down below showing you how you can unroot it and put it back to how it was. So yeah, that's it for the video guys. If you liked the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and um, stay subscribed for more tutorial videos. It's your boy the Android Doctor and I'm out. Doses.